another day here Bobby's backyard auto works well remember the 2004 e320 formatic I previewed it I'll uh, put a link down below well I want it so let's go pick it up and we're back sorry I didn't film uh, me getting it from Copart I'll tell you the story right now but check it out I got the hood to close all the way without doing anything I'm gonna lube up the uh, latches see what's up there but yeah there is a suspension issue check out that gap yeah so I take the wheel off when I'm ready like I said I'm just gonna park this one right now I got other ones to uh, finish I gotta finish the HHR gotta finish the PT Cruiser then jump on this one but for right now I'm gonna take off the stickers all the writing wash it up and wash the wagon because this thing is a filthy beast too so let's wash them up all right so this is what I'm working with on the new W211 formatic Quite a bit of codes. And they all pass from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick erase. It's the best thing to do. And then I'll start from scratch so I'll have a base. And I'll work from there. So we'll see how many come up next time. Alright. The list did shorten real good. Hear that. Yep. So we'll look into these. I'm gonna see which one, uh, what's wrong with them, each one, and I'll explain what's wrong with it. And we're back. It is the next day. It got a little late yesterday, but she cleaned up nice. Like I said, I gotta do the headlights, parking light. I need to get one of these new. The clip is broken. Probably get two sets. Get one for the wagon. This one seems to be okay. But yeah, um, I did find some uh, underlying damage. It looks like that sway bar over there got pushed in and I think it pushed the A-arm back. So I don't know, but she did clean up nice. Paint is in good shape. Still got that shine. Got that formatic. She's gonna be a good one. And I did find out what the codes were. The SRS is for back seat tensioners. I don't know why they blew, but they're tight on both sides. So I'm gonna have to get new seat belts. I don't know what happened, but yeah. And then that's the only code that was in there. That was it. And that's all I got. And the suspension. Other than that, this car is great. Not too much to rebuild. And we're back on the W211. It is another day. Uh, last video, I think I left off. Uh, we just washed it and everything like that. Man, it's dirty already. And and I do believe in, in the earlier video, I also said. I was going to explain why I didn't film it at Copart. So here's the explanation. All right, the reason why I didn't film at Copart, for one, the forklift driver didn't want to get filmed. Uh, second, uh, you can't drive cars out of Sun Valley lot now no more. So Van Nuys and Sun Valley, and I think all Coparts are going to probably take suit. Um, yeah, even with a dealer plate, everything, they won't let you uh, drive them out of there anymore. So um i don't think i'm gonna have to look for a uh, trailer because the tow dolly does good but as this one was all-wheel drive i wouldn't have been able to use my dolly but like i said the forklift driver was super cool and he goes yeah i remember you you picked up the hhr blah 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 and uh he goes i'll let you drive it out of here today he goes but bring your trailer next time so that's cool 
but let's get to the bad news on the car as further inspection let me show you what's going on uh bend right over in the, oh man are you serious i just broke that right there are you kidding me <sighs> man well anyways yes subframe is bent all the way in uh let me put it up on the uh and the only reason why I didn't catch it, like I said, because lay it right here. Oh, let me clean the camera. I'll be right back. Alright, now that I cleaned the camera off, the only reason why I couldn't uh, see this damage, as you can see now, look how far bent it's back. It broke the uh, bracket for the sway bar. The sway bar is bent. Um, yeah, and the frame is kinked right about here. So I'm gonna have to take it to my friend's shop to the frame machine. So that's why the hood doesn't close. And you can see right here also, whoops, right there. Those holes are oblong. So subframe's gonna cost me about 200 off of eBay. Um, I'm not gonna take it off from the junkyard because it's hard to find all wheel drive. And then um, just buy all the suspension parts, sway bar, bottom control arm probably. Um, I think that's about it. So let's put it on the on the ramp so I can show you underneath. They hit it hard. It hit hard. And also, I'm gonna have to get a new one of this, new wire harness. I'm gonna see if it's got it on Rock Auto. If not, junkyard. But melted the light bulb. So that's that. So get on the ramp. We got her on the on the ramps. So let's take a look underneath. Yeah, so see, there's the bracket for the sway bar right there. And over here, bam, nothing. You can see the crack. Sorry for the flickering light. Wow, that came close to the oil pan. All right, what else is hit under here? That's about it. All right, I'm gonna have to take off this uh, shield up here. I think that's 10, eight millimeters. All right, and we'll check out some more damage. Now with the uh, splash sealed off, yeah, you can see all the damage now. See right there, that's bent. And the subframe, you can tell, it goes all wonky. And there it is right there, bent also bent right there so it crushed in good spots bent back there so hopefully I can hopefully that's the output shaft seal so I gotta change this axle because the boot is ripped need the control arm pretty much almost all the suspension definitely the sway bar but yeah that's what it looks like out here Oh man, it did. It touched the case right there. Check it out. It hit hard. I hope the case is not cracked. I doubt it. Wow. They, I don't know what they hit. But it is leaking from the drain plug, so that's why it's wet under here. Didn't even touch the uh, oil pan, if you can see in there. Yeah, but the brunt of the hit was on this side, and the radiator's cracked. So I need the radiator. The AC works perfect. So it doesn't need a condenser. Oops, sorry about that. And then right there, the frame. Frame rail, I'm gonna take it to my friend's shop, have him pull it. Should be no problem. But I, I am going to order the subframe now that I know it is a subframe and engine mounts. I'm also change those since it's going to be out. It looks like it's tweaked. And then there's the shaft boot on both sides. So I'm just going to replace the axle. Hopefully the strut survived. It should have. There's the 
front view. Whoops. Yeah, demolished it. So that's probably so that is the reason why the uh, the hood doesn't close. So once he pulls that out for me, it should close no problem. So that's that. All right, I think that's gonna end this Bobby's Backyard Auto Works on the W211 2004 sedan. Um, as you saw, I'm gonna have to get all that fixed first before I can even do anything. So I'm gonna order the subframe. Like I said, I found one on eBay, 200 bucks delivered. So I'll probably jump on that. And then buy and get everything else from uh, the junkyard, the sway bar, the splash shields and all that. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing right there on the side. Until next time, talk to you guys later.